Hey everybody, back in the saddle here, fresh back from SHOT Show, as well as taking two days off with my beautiful wife to celebrate our 25th wedding anniversary. Thank you all for understanding. Let's get back into the Second Amendment. Here's a huge headline that hit yesterday that what I say could be <laughs> shocking, right? Could be controversial to some, including some of my long-time fans and viewers. And I want you to stick around for this because... Two brothers in New York City yesterday were charged with a plethora or a plethora of crimes. Uh, and a lot of the stuff that they had, although what they were allegedly planning to do is just terrible and wrong, but what they are charged with should be thrown out, most of it. Before I jump into it, I want to thank the sponsor of the video. That's CMMG, guys and gals. They make some of the best things, long and short, big and tall, all kinds of colors, chambers, calibers. You pick the colors you want, you pick the calibers you want, and you can save huge with my code GNG10. You know how to find them. Thank you to CMMG for being phenomenal, phenomenal friends of the channel and my family. And I can't wait to hang out with y'all again out there in Boonville, Missouri. Now let's jump into this one. So. Two brothers yesterday were uh, were hit with a 130 count indictment, and most of what they had is not illegal according to the United States Constitution. So New York has things like the assault weapon ban. You can't uh, possess, manufacture, transfer, all the oogie boogie things, right? Any semi-automatic rifles. Assault weapons, woo, scary. They also have a magazine ban, where if you have a standard size, capa standard capacity magazine that comes with every firearm anywhere in the nation, you're bad, because anything more than 10 rounds makes you John Wick and an assassin, therefore you should be punished. They also have a body armor ban. You can't possess anything that could potentially save your life from bad guys that New York doesn't take serious in putting in jail. In fact, they slap them on the wrist and give them more reasons to go out and do violent crime. New York has safe storage laws, which means everything you have is supposed to be thrown in a safe so that, God forbid you ever need to use it, you're never able to get it in time to save your own life. And they also have a ban on ghost guns. Ooh, those scary, scary guns that they say are untraceable. And you know, it's been something that colonists have done since before this was an actual country, yet it must be bad now. All right, I'm going to look to my notes here because what I tell you that these brothers had is, uh, is it's, a, it's a list of items that they're being charged with. Now, before I go any further, I want to say that of everything I've read on this indictment yesterday, uh, everything that's been in the news, I have not seen anywhere uh, published that they're prohibited persons, which is why I'm saying what I am, okay? First off... Uh, the prohibited person laws are being challenged left and right. We know that, right? They're being challenged in court, federal court. Some of them have been overturned, and then there's stays, and then appeals, and it's making its way up the ladder to the Supreme Court. However, with that being said, what these, some of these things that these guys had, they shouldn't have been charged with. Now, I'll say first off that some of the bad things they have is they had a hit list. They had a hit list of people that they were, were looking to take care of uh, that included uh, judges, celebrities, politicians, including uh, current and past administrations, uh, stuff like that. Uh, in fact, here is uh, what they were, what was taken from their uh, residence and possession with the search warrant that was carried out on January 17th. These are the two brothers, Andrew and Angelo, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Hatsigalis, but they were charged with, uh, among other things, uh, running and operating a uh, manufacturing uh, operation in their home. Wait, what do you mean, Jared? Uh, well, the following items are all ghost guns, according to New York. They had two loaded AR-15s, oogie boogie, not in the safe, right? Uh, they had two 9mm handguns, one partially completed AK-47, again, all of those <laughs> ghost guns, 600 rounds of ammo, three sets of body armor, 29 high-capacity magazines, they also seized 3D printers, 
because they had printed some of the magazines themselves. Uh, and, and they also had uh, eight homemade bombs and one partially complete tripwire bomb. Now, they're facing, if convicted, 25 years in prison each, uh, but uh, many of the things I just mentioned are not illegal in the real world. And according to the U.S. Constitution, they're not illegal. And according to the latest Supreme Court decision in New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin, they're not illegal. And according to the Supreme Court decision in Heller versus D.C., they're not illegal. And it's just, and according to Catano versus Massachusetts, they're not illegal. Yet New York is one of those states, like Massachusetts and California and other states that think, you know what, we reserve the right to tyrannically control our servants and tell them what is good for them and what they can have. And that's being challenged, of course, and they're losing left and right. But these two dudes were charged with a lot of crimes that shouldn't be crimes in the first place. Yeah, the whole hit list thing, this isn't what this video is about. This is about how New York's gun control laws do not save lives. They don't stop people who are intent in doing evil from doing evil. Now the New York SAFE Act should have magically made none of this uh, capable of being done because these guys were intent on carrying out crimes. So they shouldn't have been able to have this if gun control laws worked, if this is pixie dust. If it worked, if they worked, this would not have happened. The truth is they don't work. All they do is make you and me uh, targets. They make us victims in weight. And that's what the tyrannical government wants. Make no freaking mistake about it. If they cared about keeping us safe, then, they, then the administration in, in power right now wouldn't be suing Texas for protecting Texans and the United States as a whole, right? They would be supporting them, but n no, they're not. They're saying, no, no, let all those potential criminals in because what's in store for us in America is kind of what these two dudes were doing. Make no mistake, guys and gals, you and I are at risk like at like no other time in history in this country. And I hope you're paying attention to what's going on, because we are as close to 1776 as we have ever been since 1776. Now, like I said, I told you that in the beginning that this would probably offend some of my longtime viewers or anger some of my longtime viewers. But as far as I can tell, these cats weren't prohibited people, which means all of the guns, all of the ammo, all the body armor that they had, they shouldn't have been charged with. Because those laws banning those items are not consistent with the history, the text, the tradition of gun control regulation in the United States. Therefore, those laws they're being charged with are unconstitutional. Let me know what you think down below. I'm sure this will angle, 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 anger several of y'all. But I care about what y'all think. Let's have this conversation down below. Check out CMMG, guys and gals. CMMG makes great things. GNG 10 saves you bigly on those great things. And you can use it every single time you shop there. Links you can't put. You know where to find them, though. I'll see you all in the next one. I've had a coffee. Can you tell? I'm jacked up. Be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a weapon to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. Thank you to everyone. There were thousands of you who left comments wishing my wife and I a happy anniversary. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. It was touching to see every single one of them. And I, I think I have liked every single one of them, but I'll double check again uh, across all my platforms. Guys and gals, this is a phenomenal family and uh, got some big things in store. I hope you're here for the ride. Take care, y'all.